Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today for a video that I've never done before and it's sort of like exposing a hidden shame that I kind of sort of have, which is sometimes when I get really special lipsticks, I'm too scared to use them and then they sit in a nice little like display thing or in a drawer or something for a year and then I feel guilty because I haven't used them and then I... Do, I, do, I don't know what to do. So, <laughs> so today is the day where I pull out some of my special lipsticks that um, I haven't touched for ever. I've never used and I use them the first time on camera. But I'm going to show them close up. I'm going to give them a bit of love and I'm going to like have the memory of them being perfect. So um, I don't get worked up at like, oh, I've destroyed the beautiful bullet or whatever it is. So I've got a record of it and um, we also get to see me trying them on camera for the first time. So um, I have pulled out five lipsticks and I think they're all red. So that is a theme, um, but that's what this video is about today. Before I do go on with the video, I do want to mention um, I have my Natasha Denona last eyeshadow look on my eyes. So um, if you, yeah, my last video should have been my review. So that's the last look. Um, and the rest of my makeup is Project Pan stuff. All right, so let's talk about these lipsticks. So these are the lipsticks that I am talking about. My most recent one is uh, the Charlotte Tilbury one, which um, I got as a gift from a subscriber and friend Madeline uh, just the other week. So that's what I was sort of like, it made me realize I've got five of these things that I've been holding for a long time. Um, most of these are gifts as well. So during the year I've had, last year I had gifts um, from Beauty New subscribers. These two, which are gorgeous. I bought this one last holidays. Too scared to use it and then around last holidays as well as in like 2018 holidays um this has been one that i've been holding on to because it's absolutely gorgeous and i'm too scared to use it but i really want to use it so um this is by milk makeup and it's part of their Wu tang uh collection so these are the four lipsticks i'm going to try today let's give them some love let's do some zoom ins of the packaging and the bullets and everything and then i'm going to try them on so again, the first one I've been hoarding is this one by Milk. Um, it is in, it's actually in a red shade. It's in the shade Fire, which is gorgeous. Um, if you open it up, it is like, oh my God, Jesus. So look at that packaging. It is phenomenal. It is, do you, do you understand why I was too scared to touch this? It is like gorgeous. But then when you actually open it up, it is really heavy, really luxe. And check this out, guys. Like, what? <laughs> what is that? It is so gorgeous. Hopefully that's in focus because it is amazing. And then you wind it up and it's just, just this beautiful red lipstick. So you're gorgeous. Look at it. I'm so glad that this one, though, you can use it and still have the special everything because it's all around here. But again, this is in the shade Fire. Um, I'm going to apply that one, but that's the first baby. And who doesn't love a magnetic closure? Like, come on, let's be real. Oh, so good. All right, let's check out this Tom Ford gorgeousness. So this is the lip color in, oh my God. Oh my God. Can you read that? It is fucking fabulous, which just gets me every time. So we've got the Tom Ford there and it's beautiful. It's this black beautiful matte and shiny. It's gorgeous. I love it. And if you open it up, it's this beautiful red lipstick. So again, just it's fucking fabulous. And it's got a little Tom Ford there. We're going to use it. We're going to smear it on our face. All right. This is Nars Holiday from 2018. Yes, I know. I'm crazy. I bought this uh, I didn't want to touch it because it was too pretty and it's in the shade uh, Susie, I believe it is, but let's open it up. Okay, limited edition red packaging. Oh my God. So it's this beautiful metallic red packaging like a normal NARS packaging, but metallic and gorgeous and red. And that's the same as the tube and the inner part. It's gorgeous. And there we go. So I don't know if you can see it. Let's try to get it to catch the light. It is this sort of jewel shaped lipstick and it's a dark red. So it is very pretty. Catch the light, baby. There's the NARS logo. There we go. Again, NARS is one of those 
magnetic gorgeous closures. This next NARS one didn't come to Australia so I was very lucky that I was gifted this. Um, it is from the Connor Tingley collection uh, which is really really cool and it's in the shade Canoga. Canoga. Such a gorgeous red and um, I've been meaning to open it. Look at it. Look at it. Packaging. What? So it's silver with artwork on it. It's got a new NARS logo. Uh, it's very cool. There you go. Signature on it. Beautiful. And if we open it up, it is a beautiful red. Very, very beautiful. And if you catch the light, you'll see that the NARS logo is new as well. So it's this logo, which is really cool. So they've actually made a special imprint for it. I can't wait to use it. And once again, magnet. All right, so the last one is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is the K-I-S-S-I-N-G Fallen from the Lipstick Tree. Really? That's interesting. Uh, but uh, I was sort of just holding off on this one because I've never used a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick before. And uh, that's what it looks like. So it reminds me a lot of Estee Lauder packaging. Uh, very pretty, very sort of like rose gold and classic. And this is the beautiful color. It's like a really classic red. So um, yeah, I am going to pop that on my lips today. All right, so the one that I'm trying first is definitely the milk one. Um, this is the one I've been holding off for the longest for. It's the most weighty and it comes in the most like beautiful packaging. So, oh God. It feels ridiculously luxe, like ridiculously luxe. I think, do I swatch it or do I just go straight on? I don't even know. I'm going to swatch it so we can compare them. This is a, oh, it's so even, it's so smooth. It looks like sort of like a Lady Danger color, but a lot more sort of like thin in consistency and just beautiful. So let's see how this goes. Oh, one swipe. This is gorgeous. All right, so that is the Milk Wu-Tang uh, Fire Shade. It's gorgeous, super, super opaque with one swipe. Doesn't feel drying just yet. Of course, these aren't wear tests, so it is what it is. But it gives a matte sort of look or a sort of cream matte look. I'm sure it'll settle down a lot more matte, but really opaque, really vibrant. I love the orange red color. Uh, if my lip line looks a little bit messy, it's hormonal breakouts. Thanks for the testosterone, baby. Really appreciate that. So um, yeah, but it's gorgeous. Really smooth, not cling to areas. I just, it's beautiful. One thing I did want to say about this one before I take it off is that I, when you put it on, you notice a sort of scent to it. It's not an artificial scent, but it's almost like a raw ingredient scent. And it smells a lot like, I'm gonna say oils, maybe. So it does have a weird, not a weird scent, but it's got a scent to it, a distinct scent, but it's not like an artificial scent, if that makes sense. So. It's interesting. Now I'm gonna try fucking fabulous. And this one, oh, it's more of a, looks like it's more of a traditional sort of blue toned red, but I'm not too sure. I am gonna destroy the little Tom Ford thing, which makes me very sad, but let's not break it. Wind it down a little bit and then we will swipe it. Ooh, so it's a lot more glossy and it's a lot more, you can see it's more um, cool toned. So there's more um, pink tones to it, whereas this is more warm toned. So. They are different colors. You can see the finish, the difference in the finish. That one's a lot shinier. So I do feel like this is more of your traditional sort of classic red. I personally love the brighter orange reds, but this is one that sort of, I think will suit a lot of people. So, whoa, really pigmented. And it just like glides on the lips. Like it's very, very smooth, very hydrating. As you can see, there's a bit of shine to it. but very thin. It's really interesting. This one has more of that traditional lipstick, like high-end lipstick scent to it. So it's not heavily fragranced, but it definitely has a lipstick scent. If someone held this in front of me and was like, smell it, close your eyes, smell it. What is it? You'd, you'd guess it's lipstick, um, but it's a gorgeous, glossy, true red so again sort of more of that um cooler tone red and it sort of just glides on by itself doesn't need building up um but it's very very um it's not like thick and balmy it's like just yeah that really glossy finish which is really 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 gorgeous and it, this would be a very classic red so i'm really glad i was gifted this one because it didn't come to australia the the fragrance a fucking fabulous fragrance came to australia but the lipstick didn't and it is it's a classic this is like a really 
treat yourself red. All right, time for NARS. And this is the NARS holiday one that I was too scared to use. Um, I don't know why. I bought it to use it and I didn't use it, but it's gorgeous. It's red. You can see that sort of like beautiful design. It's really cool. Um, so let's watch it. This is a lot darker and it's a lot more purple actually. So I wouldn't really call that red. I'd call this a berry. So let's get the berry on. Let's see what it's like. All right, so this is a gorgeous sort of vampy red color. So it isn't technically a berry, but it does have a lot of purple and uh, red tones to it. So some of these berry shades, they can either go brown, they can go dark orange, they can go dark red, dark purple. And this is sort of like a fusion between purple and red. It does have a glossy finish, so it's not a matte. Um, and it is a little bit sort of, um, you can probably blot it down so it looks a lot more like a stain. So it is a cool sort of color like that. I think it's a gorgeous color. I do think for me right now, I probably would need a lip liner with it. Um, just my sort of uneven um, lip line is making it look a little bit noticeable. So I think this would benefit from a lip liner, but it is a really pretty shade. So look at it, you vampy. All right, second NARS one. And this one, again, I'm super excited about because the color is my jam. These are my reds. To a T, I love them, they're so gorgeous. This one looks like it could be a little bit more translucent than the milk one. So let's just have a quick swatchy swatch. So yeah, you can see it's still that glossy formula. Oh, whew. it's a similar sort of shade to the first one, but a different finish. You can see that's matte, that's more glossy, and they do have a different tone to them. I think this might be a little bit more red, and the first one might be a little bit more orange, but they're both gorgeous. Oh, I love it, let's try it. Oh. Maybe you're my baby. So again, a gorgeous glossy red, but this is a lot more vibrant and warm toned than the first one, but it is just as impactful and just as beautiful. Um, I do like a matte finish more than this sort of glossy finish, but this looks stunning. Um, and I've noticed the NARS ones don't really have any scent to them at all. So the milk one had more of a sort of natural oil scent. The Tom Ford had more of a traditional high-end lipstick scent and these two had no scent, but this is gorgeous. I feel like my lip line's getting worse and worse because I keep taking off lipstick, but um, beautiful. I love it. I feel like this is the first one to stain as well, but it's staining pink, which is really unusual. Maybe it's just a buildup of the different shades. I don't know. Wouldn't have expected that from this one. Yeah, you can really see that when this one sort of smears out, it has almost a pink base to it, which is really interesting. So it does tend to stain. So it is a bit annoying for when you're doing lip swatches and they um, do stain, but in day-to-day -day life, I don't mind a red that stains my lips because it generally means that when it starts to fade down, at least there's color still on your lips. So um, it looks a lot more bold and vibrant throughout the whole day. So I actually like a lip that stains. Uh, then we've got Charlotte Tilbury. So this is in the shade Mar So Marilyn. I didn't say that before, actually. So this is more of a dark sort of like blood red. So I think it is different from the ones that we've got going on. Um, I'm going to put it down here. Yeah. Whoa. Jeez. So that is, you can see that these are both dark reds, but that's more purple and that's more red. This is like what I'd consider like a classic, not classic bright, but like, yeah, old Hollywood. So Marilyn red, this is gorgeous. I'm really excited. Let's turn up the brightness a little bit because this weather's getting horrible. All right. Oh, you're gorgeous. Oh, creamy. All right, so again, we've got a really sort of classic red. This again is more of a cooler tone one. So you can see it's more of an opaque version of um, the Tom Ford, um, but it's a little bit darker because it is more opaque. It does give a darker look and it's less bright on the lips, but they're both gorgeous. This one does have a shine. I think it's actually probably the, uh, not shiniest, but probably the most creamy feeling on the lips. So um, the other ones felt very like thin to apply. You only need, like this one only needed a, a thin layer, but just the creaminess of the lipstick, it sits a little bit heavier on the lips, but it is a gorgeous color. It is a classic red. 
I like them all. I think the ones that I like the most um, are probably the orangey red ones because they're my favorite. This one again is matte, a little bit more opaque. This one is shiny, a little bit slightly more translucent. Um, and then I think I'd probably go these two just because um, I really like that sort of retro um, old Hollywood sort of vibe that they give with the glossy red. And then the berry, um, I think that one for me, even though I like the formula just on first impressions, um, it's not a color I would wear too often. And I felt like it was a little bit slightly more finicky to apply. You did notice when the lip line wasn't perfectly done. All right, there you have it. The five lipsticks that I've been scared to use because they're too special, they're too pretty. But life's too short, you gotta use the special makeup and um, enjoy it. So that's what this video is all about, was uh, popping my cherry with these babies, uh, getting some use out of them, and um, then I'm gonna put them on my shelf and I'm gonna reach for them whenever I want. A bright red, a classic red, a berry red, whatever it might be. Um, now I can delve into these because I have used them. So uh, yeah, a bit of a random video and I don't like to do this too often, just having makeup that I don't like to use. But sometimes you put things in like the special corner and you're too scared to use them. And then it gets to a point where you're like, wait, I haven't used that for a year. I really should. So um, yeah, this is just my giving love to these lipsticks that are really gorgeous. So um, there we go, random, random. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that video and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.